What's up, guys? Welcome to Japan's Gaming here, bringing you another episode of L.A. Noir. So, um, let's get back into it. If I remember correctly, we last left off. Some guy got shot in the street. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Yep, he's just kind of laying there. Oh, yep, just contaminating evidence. See this guy's face. Ah, uh, nothing special about his face. His arms. Nah, I don't think anything special about his arms. Uh, what about his other arm? So it said examine his head and arms. No, nope, not his head. I don't care about his head. Other arm. He's got a nice jacket. I mean, it's a shame he soaked it in blood. No, not his head. I want. There we go. Can we look at the the bullet wounds. No, we're gonna take out a slip of paper that's just pearl earrings. So we've got uh, Paul Martin and uh, A. Gagliardi. Well, I don't know if it's Paul Martin. Uh, P. Martin. Yeah, just stick it back in there, because we don't need to take that back for evidence, right? All right, all right, yes, it's a dead person. Oh, this is something here. Bullet casings. Got 32 casings. And, uh, oh shit. Well, let's run it. Let's go. Uh, locations. Uh, let's go to the gun store. It's probably the, like best that we get information before we. Oh, let me <laughs> rev up the engine to get out of the car because this guy has something to say. What? Go over here. Sir, I'm officer. What exactly did you see? I heard the shot. I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run into the shoe store. Well, you look like Charlie's brother from... Speak to the witness before homicide arrives, so... If you think she's lying, don't be afraid to get forced to... Verbally, of course. Don't accuse her of anything without proof. Lawyers love that shit. If you're sure she's straight up, try the general approach. See what you can coax out of her. Thanks for the advice, buddy. But, uh, and before I interview her, I'm actually gonna go by that gun store to see. Because, like, if she says something about the gun and I have some information to prove her wrong, well, that just work in my favor. Get in the car, dude. Out of the way. Crime scene cont- Son of a bitch. I went on a crime scene. What do you mean crime scene contaminant? I'm picking up this guy's dead body and shit. Man, that's BS. Alright, fine. We'll go to the gun store. We'll go straight this time. Try not to hit any citizens. Go across parking lot. Like so. Well, anyway, because like like I was saying before, before I actually, you know, contaminated a crime scene with the back tire of a police truck, even though I didn't actually hit anybody, um, or anything for that matter. Um, if she says something, like if she knows anything about the gun, then I can like cross-reference it with this whatever this guy at the gun store says. So um, I'm gonna take that approach instead. Instead of just going all willy-nilly. How far away is this place? He's at a couple blocks. Important police business. GTFO. Get the f out of the way. I've got white wall tires. I'm not afraid to use them. Uh, 
parking on it. I guess I'm parking on the street. Getting out of the car. <laughs> We're just gonna leave this here for a sec. BRB. Okay. I think I give a shit. How do you run again? I forget. Damn it. Is this a place? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Found it somehow. Alright, let's go in. Yo, what up, Baldy? What can I do? Officer, stop the dump, sir. No kidding. We need you to trace a serial. Sure. What's the make and model? FF Browning, model 1922. Serial number is 01138. Don't say. I didn't sell it. European problem, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple of weeks back. That was the owner. Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Thing looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. Yeah, what we can find, Mr. Kalu. Told me he was on his lunch break. Then he worked at Hartfield, jewelry store, just up on Broadway. Sweet. So let's go talk to this, uh... Man, there's gotta be a way to run. Oh, I found it. Wait, hold on. Get out of the car, dude. Throwing experience has come to an end. And oh god. <laughs> I hit the thing. It, it kind of gently taps the guy and he just collapses. I gotta wait at a red light. This is BS. How do I turn on my uh Nope, I'm getting out of the car on the freeway. I think there's a way to turn on the horn, I just don't remember. Oh, sweet, this guy's apartment's right here. Okay, cool. Ooh, that all. Oh, snap. Hartfield Jewelry Store, 2.36 p.m. Same? I don't know why I'm saying that. It's like the 1920s. This is we're in like 1940 or 1950s, I think. Whatever. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Uh, no. You can interest me in some justice. Uh, no, uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll him for you. Won't you point at me? Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Why don't you? God damn it! This motherfucker. About to get his shit rocked. Get your ass over here. I'm a. What do I gotta take him down on his legs? Right. You get the hell back here, motherfucker. Oh, I'm not supposed to shoot him? Oh, I gotta fire a warning. Oh, okay. I was trying to take him down. I was trying to shoot him in the legs or something. Whoops, I accidentally severed your femoral artery and now you're bleeding on the floor. Mission failed, guys. Yeah, yeah, we saw this one. Uh, no, uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll bug him for you. Don't you point at me, you son of a bitch. I know your game. Son of a bitch! Go, go, go! That's what I said. Hey, <laughs> yes, just wave at the police officer in the middle of a high speed chase. Kalu, he's back here! Damn it! I'm gonna get him on that straightaway again, but this time I'm not gonna shoot him in the legs. Apparently, that's not what you're supposed to do. Stop, or I will shoot. As that casing falls and hits an unsuspecting you're citizen. You're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage.
I probably knew his name even though I didn't interview the person that they said ran in the thing. The one you never saw. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. <laughs> the case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what ifs, the might have been, the half leads, the half truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. Okay, we get it. The rumor mill. It's the case that eats your guts out. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? What? You're asking me to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. Takes a certain animal coming, man. Do you okay. think you might be ready for that? Let's do it! Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. Motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, man? Fine, sir. This guy has a sweet accent. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young folks. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Uh, well, you see... I don't know if you know who you're dealing with here, but I'm not exactly the greatest, like, first, you know, the guy that does everything perfect on the first run. Let's uh, ask him about the shooting. Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting at Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. You're lying. Do you deny owning a Browning pistol? Serial number 01138. I owned a gun, yes, but, but but it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage. Gage was an asshole, but his death wasn't down to me. I just gotta keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you wanna keep making a schmuck of you. Damn it. I fucked up, didn't I? Damn it. All right, try this again. Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting at Brick Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. I doubt it. You know, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be smoking during an interview, but whatever. Do you deny owning a Browning pistol? Serial number 01138. I owned a gun, yes, but, but but it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage. Yeah, I can. Boom. You had the gun clean and bought a new box of ammunition. The store owner remembers you where you were. Is that so? It's amazing what the nevishes will recall when it suits them. Religious motive. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Cohen? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker! How about baseball? You're not denying your view, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. <laughs> Whoa. Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't 
talking about. Damn it. Fuck. Watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. Fuck me. Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Edward Gage? I'm sorry, I'm just like so bad at this right now. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, we're making progress. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get a tutorial. I understand. You're lying. I own a Browning pistol. Serial number zero one one three eight. I owned a gun, yes, but 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 it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage. You had the gun clean and bought a new box of ammunition. The store owner remembers you where you were. Is that so? It's amazing what the nebbishism will call when it suits them. Maybe she's is. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Cohen? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going, motherfucker! How about baseball? You know, this guy uh, is, like, really violent for no reason. It's America, it's not Germany. Talk about baseball, and he's like... Mr. Cohen. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Cohen? I don't know what you're talking about. For racial slurs, man. I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Edward Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Wow. That guy is like pissed as fuck. Masterfully done, Officer Fox. It is just. Two suits, not one. Two. For all your double suit needs, as if you're going to be wearing your suit during the winter time. You two suits for the price of one. Your actions have earned you a promotion. Aw, snap. We're getting mad bucks. We're getting mad bank. I don't know why I just sang like that. I apologize. That was terrible. We're in 1950s Los Angeles. There was no need for that. What's up, Baldy? Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. This is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. Heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along. I'm here to learn, detective. Huh? He's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Intense. Bukowski. I meet the detective here. I'm old Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory to make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that? Roy Earl, chief detective and Ed Biden. They all dressed like movie stars? <laughs> well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. What's that supposed to be? 
So now I'm like the newbie, and this guy's like the grizzled traffic vet. I just sat down. Right Motherfucker. Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. You only gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? I did my best. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I'm partnering Phelps with everybody's favorite pole. Stefan Bukowski. Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't, but that's why we have partners, right? Okay, okay, can it, guys. Oh, he threw something. You gonna Bukowski. deal with that? Good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm gonna start you out with one case. You okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the PE freight depot, 6th and Alameda. Patrolman called in a suspicious deal. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, folks. Let's do it. I don't care. Now, is there a way to save the game? Because I'm going to end the episode off here, so. Oh, I just realized. Oh, man. Oh, man. We got a sick head. You're wasting time. Get out of here. Hell yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to have the episode here. I'll see you guys next time.